In 2014, we've seen national house price growth hit double-digit territory. However, more recently, there's been some evidence that parts of the market are cooling. In this forecast, we consider what that means for the housing market in the next five years. There are three key drivers that will shape the market over this period. Rising interest rates, the implementation of mortgage market review, and other mortgage regulation. These last two drivers will mean that borrowers' ability to afford their mortgage payments will be stress-tested, assuming higher interest rates. Interest-only mortgages will continue to be very scarce, requiring borrowers to fund capital repayments. Lenders will be limited in their ability to grant high loan-to-value mortgages. These factors have a number of consequences. Together, they will put a squeeze on mortgage affordability. Further, they're likely to limit the size of mortgages that borrowers can obtain and mean that the amount of deposit which they need will remain high. That's likely to limit people's ability to get on and trade up the housing ladder. To a degree, these effects will be offset by wage growth and the anticipated extent of interest rate rises. Other factors will also have a tempering impact, such as help to buy, increased levels of downsizing and the greater use of the bank of mum and dad. The outcome of these constraints will be a cap on house price growth and, as importantly, transaction levels, which in turn will drive demand into the private rented sector. In light of all of this, we're forecasting that on average, house prices in the mainstream UK housing market will rise by 19% over the next five years, with lead indicators suggesting relatively low growth of just 2% next year. The constraints are likely to have the greatest effect in London, which has seen a prolonged period of relatively strong price growth and so looks most fully valued. We're forecasting growth of just 10% in the capital over five years, with no growth in 2015, given recent evidence of a change in sentiment in this market. By contrast, the most capacity for house price growth is in the north of the country. However, the economic drivers to deliver that growth are relatively limited, meaning that, for example, we are forecasting five-year house price growth in the northwest of England of 14%. Instead, we think the strongest growth in the next five years will be in the southeast of England, where we believe prices will rise by 26% over the next five years.